This revelation happened in the beginning of 2019, on that day we pray before sleeping, and as soon as I lied down to sleep, I saw in a vision that I was seating with people in the compound, we were talking and laughing, it was a normal and ordinary day, we could not suspect what was about to happen in the world, as we talked in the family, suddenly we started hearing the blast of the trumpet resonating incessantly, like a powerful bell. Immediately we rose and ran out to the street, to check where the sound of the trumpet was coming from, when we got out to the street, we saw crowds of people coming from all direction, everybody wondered, where is this blast coming from, we were confused and in wonder, as the sound of the trumpet kept resounding ceaselessly, we were bewildered and in panic, we wonder where is this sound coming from, finally we came to understand that it was coming from the sky. When we lifted our eyes to the sky we heard another powerful blast of the trumpet resonating. When it stopped, we heard a tremendous voice in the sky, which said, Behold, election time has come, the time of the election is now, people of the world, this world is about to cease to exist, dwellers of the earth, you will no longer live on this earth, for it is about to be destroyed, all of you the inhabitant of the land will no longer live here for you are going to two destination, which are two kingdom ruled by two kings, the time of the election has come for the inhabitant of the land to choose and select their king, your choice will determine your destination, you will spend eternity with ruler you chose, my dear, when the voice ceased to address the inhabitant of the land, the whole world was looking at the sky as the trumpet began to sound again, as soon as it stopped, the voice spoke again in the sky, declaring this is election time, people of the world, the world where you live is about to be wiped out, and all the resident of the earth will leave and go to the two kingdom of the two king, you must choose between the two leaders who is your lord, you must choose, the two king will come and take you to their world for this earth will be destroyed, I heard the trumpet blasting again, when it stopped the voice said to the population of the world, the first king possessed silver, gold and treasure, his kingdom has many mansion, and he will dwell with men. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the former things have passed away, but the second king is poor, and if you vote for him you will burn in flames, for his kingdom is a world of fire, there will be cry and gnashing of teeth. Then the trumpet sounded again, afterward, the voice said. Whoever choose the first king must go to the right, and whoever choose the second king must go to the left. I saw the dwellers of the earth separated into group, making allegiance to the two king. I quickly chose the king that was on the right and many people made that choice, but the king on the left was also chosen by countless. The world was parted in two. Those who chose the rich king were separated from those who chose the poor king. I saw that people were full of joy in our group and they gave praise to the king that was rich, to my surprise I saw that those who chose the poor king were also celebrating and they were full of joy, I was in wonder, how come those who chose the poor king are in celebration and joy, I got confused, then I wonder what is the evidence that I made the right choice, what is the proof that our king is the one who has silver, gold and treasure, what if the king of the opposite camp is the one that is richer and that we made a wrong decision, what is the assurance here, quickly I saw brethren around me telling me, we made this choice by faith, we must believe that our king is the right one, we believe that in the kingdom of our father there are many mansions and silver and gold belong to him, I said to brethren, those people in the other camp also believe that their king is the one, I am confused, I saw the people in the opposite camp saying, we have chosen the right leader and you are wrong, since I was worried and concerned, immediately I heard a powerful voice calling my name, when I tried to find out who was calling me, I heard the voice telling me, Adeline, look up to the sky, when I lifted my eyes to the sky, I saw the heaven opening and I was in admiration, I saw an intense light far away in the sky, I was starring the light but I was unable to look because of the intensity, suddenly a voice came out of the light and called my name, Adeline. I am the king that you have chosen, peace be upon you, you made the right choice for silver and gold and treasure belong to me, the other king is poor he has nothing, the king said to me, now Adeline, 
look to the other side of the sky, then the king opened the heaven again on the side, as soon as the heaven was opened, I saw a man that was a giant, this giant was seating on a throne, he was impressive and imposing, the king said to me, Adeline, the giant man you see on the throne is the king of the people of the opposite camp, I look and beheld the throne of this giant prince, at that moment I saw that he was joined by multitude that attended his throne, the assistants said to this king, master, you summon us to attend your throne, here we are, the audience is ready, is there any problem, quickly I saw this prince rising and telling them, I called you here because I need to tell you things, my people, do you know that we have short time before us, and our days are numbers, do you know that you and I we gonna burn in the lake of fire and brimstone, I saw the audience responding yes master, we knows that we are going to burn in the lake of fire and sulphur, the king asked them, do you know we are going to burn, they responded yes lord we know we are going to burn, alright said the king, since you know that we are going to burn, I want to inform you that there is no more time left, thus I want you to multiply your effort and work hard, now this is what I want you to do, my dear, I was able to see the powers of the air holding a meeting and I could hear everything because the Lord opened my spiritual vision and spiritual ears, the giant king told the audience, you see this people that chose me deliberately, we do not have issue with them, for they belong to us, they will come with us in the lake of fire and sulphur, but you will focus your attention on the people of the other camp, I saw this king pointing his finger to the inhabitant of the world that chose the Lord Jesus Christ as their saviour and king, he said to the audience, I want to you to go to these people that have refused to follow us, and you must deviate and deceive them, now this is what you will do to deceive these people, you are going to go to our reserve, our saving and our depot, you gonna empty all our reserve, take out all our money, wealth and belonging, and go to the world to offer these wealth and treasure to these people, that have refused to follow us, give them all of our saving, all of the wealth, treasure and money, you have to give it to them, give them all the houses, all the car and all the credit, and tell them our king is so rich that he gave us just a little portion of his wealth, so that we can enjoy it on the earth before joining him in his kingdom for great celebration, that will last forever. This is so that you can understand that when you leave your king and come to us you will begin to enjoy his wealth on earth before going to his kingdom, moreover this is a proof that our king is more wealthy than the one you choose, so join us to begin to enjoy the wealth of our king before going to his kingdom, the prince said to his acolyte, now go to share this wealth to the people who are in our camps and above all to the people who are in the other camp, for they are the one I need the most, this king told the audience, take all of our money, wealth and saving, you're gonna transfer all of them to the bank all over the world, fill the bank with all the money we have left, then propose to the people of God easy loans, tell them there is no deadline for repayment, they can pay back the loan during all their lifetime, they don't need to worry how and when they will pay back this money, do everything possible to get these people to take our loans, so that when death find them with our loans, we can reclaim their souls and accuse them before their king, that they owed us money and they possess our property, we will accuse them beyond the grave at the gate of heaven, when they died with our debt we will claim their souls, beloved this is the absolute truth and revelation that the Lord gave me, I am always surprised by people that take the Lord warning lightly, they say it is not in the Bible, yet the scripture say don't scorn prophecy but the giant king in the space told powers of the air, give our enemy these loans and don't pressure them to pay back, the day they will die we will tell their master they have things that belong to us and we will reclaim their souls in the afterlife, we will win their soul because of our debt, at that moment I heard the Lord Jesus telling me, Adeline, have you listened carefully to the plot and strategy of this king, I said Lord I heard everything very well, the king said now go tell my people that are with you, tell my people not to take these loans and money of the enemy, tell them that it is a trap, they must not take that money, my dears when the heaven was closing, I was about to warn the people that were with me in the camp of the people of God, suddenly I saw people that were around the throne of Satan, they were all over the world, for they have descended to our world, I saw them and I recognized their face and the way they were dressed, they said our king has silver and gold and wealth, he is so rich in his kingdom he has ordered us to start enjoying his wealth on the earth, 
before we join him in his kingdom, I saw how these people were taking the economic reserve of the satanic kingdom to global bank all over the world, they fill their bank building society with the last reserve and saving that Lucifer had, I saw them with new cars that were beautiful, they were commercials telling people, you just come to sign papers to get new cars, new property and new credit, there are no requirement and no condition, you just sign, and the cars are yours, they were begging people to come and borrow a lot of money, and people were running to get loans, to my surprise the people of God that I was about to warn were already running and changing camps, they did not know that they were tricked, there was keen interest from the people of God and they went to sign paper and get new cars new house keys, they went to the bank to get these loans, but I was following them and warning them not to take it, for it was a trap, but they would not listen to me, a huge proportion of the people of God had crossed to the camp of the prince of this world, because of new cars, new property and free loans, only few people that were left in the camp of the people of God, I got to them and told them, why have you not gone like them, I saw that they were sad and they told me, we are not going, we are skeptic, we think that this might be a trap, I said you are really of God, you are wise, listen, I personally saw our king and he told me that he is the one who is rich, and he showed me the other king and told me that the kingdom of that king is flames of fire, those who follow him will burn in the flames of fire, I am warning people not to follow him in his place of fire, then I sat down with the few people that were there, I was filled with pity for these multitude of souls, I have seen for myself the meeting of this evil prince, and seeing people following him was a tragedy, as I sat there, immediately I saw the heaven opening again, the voice of the king told me, Adeline, don't sit there with pity, rise up and go to speak out, you can't sit there, I said, my king I am warning them not to do it but they are not listening to me, since you gave me no proof to show them you are the real king, and since they are not listening I am unable to follow them, the king said to me, Adeline, stand up and go to them, the heaven will not be shut down any more for you, because I will now walk with you and guide you, quickly I stood up and began to move, and the heaven was opened above me, the king himself was pointing and indicating any person I was supposed to preach, even though these people could not see the heaven that was opened, whatever I told people came directly from the king who were telling me what to say, I saw a man that was previously in our camp, he was really happy after receiving a key for new house and a key for a new car, the king said, tell him that this is a trap he must return all these things, and I repeated the word of the king to this man, but the man was laughing and shaking his car key and house keys, it was not easy, many were telling me you are talking rubbish, we already have our new car and new house, this is a proof that this king is richer, I am not going to return, the king kept saying, continue to speak, don't shut your mouth, insist, keep try to convince him, even after the man have left me, the king told me, you're gonna follow him, don't give up on him continued to insist despite his snub and refusal, I was following this man like a madwoman and I repeated the words of the king and told the man, they are deceiving you with that house and car, go return them, after harassing that man the king said, now let go to someone else, I noticed that the king was not sending me to everybody only particular souls, over time I started to notice a group that took the goods of the enemy, they adopted my language, they began to say these loans, car and houses are trap, and when they began to speak like me, I saw that these were people I was previously trying to convince to go back to their sense, they refused the king message in my presence despite my insistence, but later these words that were so in them managed to change them. I came to understand why the Lord was telling me to follow them and insist despite the fact that they were avoiding me. They were joined by many that were seduced previously, they came back to themselves and acknowledged that they were deceived, finally I noted that we had become numerous, these people told me, even if we snub you, when we went home we were not in peace, for we were convinced that this all things was a trap, we went back to return the cars and houses. My dear I was so happy that many that would deceive came back to the king, at that moment the voice of the king resounded in the heaven that was opened, he told me, Adeline, everything that you are seeing here tell my children, I your God, this was the first time the king introduced himself as God, the king said, Adeline, 
Tell my children, God say they have just few days left before them, Adeline, you have few days in this world, since the adversary know that he was few days left for him and his angels to be thrown in the lake of fire. He has risen and he is multiplying strategy, trick and trap against you, Adeline, tell my servant I have opened heaven for them, you have seen the way I led you with open heaven, note that I am no longer closing heaven for you, it will remain open forever, whenever I tell you things immediately you tell my people, so that they can take measure, because the enemy has risen with many trap and tricks of deception, I am not sitting either, I have risen to warn my children so that they will not follow him in the lake of fire, I have risen to recover my children, you have seen how he deceived my children with his loans and how I intervened to warn them, and how they came back in great number, I will not let the enemy trick my children without exposing his strategy, tell my children all these things, tell my servant to not fear, the adversary is putting trap everywhere but I have opened heaven for them, they must breach sound doctrine to my people, Adeline, since the foundation of the world I have never opened the heaven this way for my servant, since the world began I have not opened the heaven the way I have opened it now, everything I tell you say it so that everybody will hear, the heaven is opened so that I will be in continual communication with my people, if you warn a brother and sister, but he refuse to listen despite your insistence, he is not mine, for the heart of my children will not be hard any more. say everything I tell you. Mine will listen when you speak, you have few days before you my people, times is short, I will not wait, I will not sit and watch all my children falling in destruction, I have risen to save my children, my dear I felt a great joy hearing this, the king said, Adeline, tell my children not to take loan from the bank anymore, they will hear about proposition of loans, they will be tempted but they must not take these money, they must not take these credit people like cars, but many of these cars in the world are designed in the world of darkness, if I had to open the eyes of my children to see the cars that are moving in your world, they will scream in terror, in truth these cars in boulevard are not cars, the Lord did not tell what they are but he said they are not cars, the king said, tell my children they must not get these cars in credit, tell my children if they take these loans, even if they walk in sanctification, if death strike them while they are still paying these debts and loans the enemy will accuse them, the enemy will say they have my property, their souls will be reclaimed by the enemy, and they are not coming to my kingdom, tell my children, those who will die with debt they will not see my kingdom, these loans and debts are trap of Satan, the enemy will come to propose you loans and a lot of money, don't take it, even if you take that money and do business with it, you will not go forward, it is just a trap when someone take this money to use it, even if he is committed to pay back this loan completely, firstly he will come under manipulation and controlled because of this money of the enemy, when the kingdom of darkness see that he is paying back the loans with the intent of finishing the debt, they will not allow him to pay back all the debt, for the loans was not meant to be paid back, it was meant to cause premature death, the aim of the adversary is that people should die before they ever finished paying back this loan, so that their soul would be reclaimed and conquer, because of this money many will die prematurely and their souls will be won by the enemy. The arch enemy will do whatever it take to kill people who took these loans, before they ever finish paying it back, the devil does not want people that take these loans to pay them back completely. He does not even need that money, all he wants is their soul, that is why he is lending money, those who are paying back that money very well with the intent of finishing the debt they will be killed, I want to tell you in few days that the Lord say is left for humanity, Europe and the West will go down, and Africa will be rising, and African in the diaspora will flee, my dears, I wonder if you will pay back the loans completely when you return to Africa.